Hey, and welcome to The Solid Verbal. Now would be a perfect time to consider subscribing. Yeah, that little subscribe button for year-round premium college football content. That's it. Here's the video. Enjoy. Subscribe. Forget the four best teams for the playoffs college football tonight. Alpha. Would like to know, who are the four teams that are going to be the most interesting to watch week after week? It can be due to their potential explosiveness or their potential implosiveness, Ty. Yeah. So, well, who, who are the four best teams? TV shows across this great land. I'm on the record with Texas Tech, but I feel like a s okay. Sorry, Go I'm ahead. interrupting, and that's not what I should be doing. Continue. Why do you want to? Why are you interrupting me? Why? Well, Texas Tech is really good because of circumstance, but also we don't know why Texas Tech itself would be like. Unless you're a big believer in uh, one of those two quarterbacks, and you should be a believer in George Kitley, and maybe you're not a believer at defense. So my, I'm just. I'm just curious about what it is about the Red Raiders themselves. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll talk about okay. that. We'll talk about that in the Big 12. Uh, I guess I gave away the game, but Big 12 preview numero dos, which true. we're going to record here in a couple hours. But I do think there is reason to be excited about tech. Um, maybe not tech directly as the leading character in the TV show, but I think tech is a best supporting actor, best supporting team. Okay will be very interesting to make other TV shows, related TV shows, very interesting. Their cameo appearances, let's say, mm -hmm. I think make for a very interesting spot because of situations and other reasons that we'll get into here when we do the preview in a couple hours. So tech is one for me. Nebraska's two. Uh, I'm supremely interested in Nebraska. Bit of a facelift in the offseason. Curious to see how that goes. USC is interesting also because of the facelift quality. Yeah. Um, also because of the Big Ten Super Conference potential quality. People will be talking about USC a lot this year. And Texas for me. Look, uh, Texas is always interesting. I'm, I'm probably a sucker for the Texas storyline year in, year out. The is Texas back thing. I know we talk about it as a cliche. It is a question I ask myself before every college football season, pretty much after every week. And I don't know why, because I don't otherwise care about the state of Texas or the football team of Texas that much. But I'm interested. I'm interested. They've got my attention. I want to see Quinn Ewers. I want to see what the running back stable looks like. I want to see what they do out wide. I want to see if they can improve their defense. I'm very interested in those four teams specifically. So to answer the question, Texas Tech, Nebraska, USC, and Texas. I have Tennessee as for pure entertainment okay. that I, I, I feel really good. But by the, by the way, just in the SEC, I can name three that I would probably pay money to see if you were like, well, you can not watch them or spend five dollars. Uh, Tennessee, Ole Miss, and Arkansas, to me, are going to be fascinating watches because of offenses, because of quarterbacks, because of a beautiful recklessness that some of those teams mm. can have at times on offense. I'm more looking at Tennessee and Ole Miss, um, but I just I think KJ Jefferson is going to be extremely fun. And I don't know if their defense is to the point where they're going to be comfortably beating teams, but their schedule is such that they seem to have wall to wall action. I think Arkansas is going to be must watch. They just generally are if they're competent on any level. Um, the new coaches, I mean, uh, college football tonight asked for four teams. Uh, I, I mentioned liking uh, Kansas State some in some previous episodes, and Bill Connolly talked about it. Look, you get the the adventurous wild card that is the Adrian Martinez experience. You get Deuce mm -hmm. Vaughn, you get experienced receivers, and you get a pretty weird Big 12. So that's my team in your Texas vein that I just am curious about quarterback play and what the offense can evolve into. Uh, USC is a very good answer just because of, you know, Caleb Williams is mostly going to be very, very good, but we saw what he did against a couple of teams. I think Iowa State and Baylor were really rough for him, so you know, working out the kinks and it's just all the new coaches. Like I would say Miami because of Josh Gaddis and Tyler Van Dyme, but I have experience with Mario Cristobal teams and it's not my favorite <laughs> thing in the world to watch those teams win, even when they're good. Um, and elsewhere. Um, I don't know. A lot of it is, is sort of like, and this sort of dovetails with the question I think we got from Raul about scheme and, um, teams that we're interested in that are doing interesting things is what do teams do when they know they need to improve when they know they need to get more creative and Michigan was a good example of that last year and it's probably a good example of that this year 
uh, teams that have quarterback questions from the jump, like Clemson will be interesting to me because there's so much change there and there's quarterback conversation from the jump. Um, so I think those are sort of a smattering, uh, a spectrum of my teams, obviously, you know, not, you know, Oregon is the obvious answer, but any of the new coach teams, I think I'm going to gravitate towards because there are so many major places with new coaches. Yeah. And and that'll be the big storyline to start the season. So much change in so many places. It's one of the reasons, by the way, why Alabama could never be an answer to this question. Right. We know what we're going to get with Alabama. Yeah. It's a matter of, or even Georgia to to the same degree. Now we know what we're going to get. We know they'll be very good. Mm -hmm. The X factor that makes them interesting. The spice that makes them more interesting as like a must watch TV show. You know, I mean, that ship has sailed. Right. 